Hi guys, welcome to this week's edits. Obviously disappointing loss on the weekend uh, from our point of view. Uh, defensively, we actually weren't too bad. Our offence really hurt our defence on the course of the weekend. We, we turned over the ball, especially in that third quarter. I think out of their seven goals, we gave them six through uh, our turnovers, which was really disappointing. Uh, but let's go through your questions this week. Uh, the first one. Uh, Dimmer keeps saying it's a poor 10 minutes or quarter that cost us. Is it not that we can't go with teams when they lift a gear? Um, as you would have seen by that third quarter, the 15 minute burst between, I can't remember the exact time, but it was realistically those errors that, uh, that cost us. We tried to force some kicks. You would have seen that one where Milesy tried to uh, pinpoint a pass to, to um, Sean Grigg that was a 50-50 contest, which was too big a risk. Then we give away a free kick. Uh, ball goes out down the other end and Realistically, those turnovers are indefensible for our, our defenders. We're asking to play a style of game where, you know, playing a team defence type element. But the fact of the matter is, if you turn over the ball in, in those dangerous situations, it's, it's always going to cost you from, from the outset. So, obviously, that's a goal from that one. Uh, same sort of one here. You know, if he gets this ball here and just fluffs a kick in a way, we probably try and kick to a a situation where we've got some numbers there but it's an easy read for the defence to get it and then once again we kick to a, a situation. So a lot of North Melbourne's goals were, were goals that were over the back caused by our, uh, our turnovers from our offence. So overall defensively we're okay but offensively our offence killed our defence on the day. Uh, how can we have so many inside 50s entries from a score but only score a small percentage? This isn't a new issue. Yeah look you're probably Right from that one, it's an area we notice. You look in this situation, North Melbourne as good as they get in this area. They are a full backside, so they do a lot of attacking from their back half. You can see there straight away the numbers. What we've got to get better in is um, making sure, one, their opposition don't mark it, but uh, bring the ball to ground so we get a scoring opportunity. From a scoring percentage inside 50, we're only just below the AFL average. What we're probably not getting the benefit of is, one, our, our scoring accuracy isn't great. And we're probably not getting enough goals from snaps at this situ uh, at this time and place. So, you know, we're getting a lot of goals from marks in these situations. But you can see here we lose a 3v3 contest uh, and North Melbourne just clear the ball from a situation that we probably a 50-50 chance of winning. So our ball use inside 50 at stages wasn't great. We can see there Basher misses a couple of open targets. We try and kick to Jack who's one on three. Once again, an area that we can improve and we'll continue to work on over the course of uh, the coming weeks from that situation. Uh, Batchel seems to be improving as a player. What do you put this down to? Uh, he has had a great season thus far, Jake. We've been really impressed with... Um, probably his work rate has improved. I think he got himself incredibly fit over the summer. Um, he's back to his physical best and he's, he's backing himself in for, you know, in marking contests and winning the ball back from the opposition. And I think when you notice he's in his best form, he's got his kicking boot, boots back as well because he has got a really damaging left foot. He's been playing on some really good players for the opposition and we've been pleased with his season thus far and we still feel like he's got a lot of improvement in him. So all in all, a disappointing loss. 15 minutes of bad footy. Uh, if you don't come with your consistency of your performance, you're going to get beaten most time. So we've just got to make sure we continue to wind out those that inconsistency and, and get the wins on the board. So let's look forward to this week's game versus the, the Pies. The kids come for free, so let's make sure we get as many people as we can to the game this week. All right, see you next week.